Okay then Tom, the one Liverpool lad in the Oval squad today, what is it like to come back to your home city and albeit not get the result you're after but come and play at Everton? It's always nice to come home, as I say it's, it's been a bit tarnished by, by the result, it's uh, heavily disappointing, um, can't hide it, like, never want to lose, but yeah it's just disappointing to be honest. It's obviously disappointing when you do lose but the fact that you're clapped off by all four sides of the ground you must yeah. take some some real positives on that, the fact that they recognise the performance that you put in. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's always nice to get a, um, an ovation from the opposition. You probably you could see the graft we were putting in, you know, fair play to Evan. They were very, I think they were very efficient with, with the ball. Um, I, thought, I thought, you know what, I thought we worked as hard as we could. They were just very efficient with the way they moved the ball and the way they took the chances and credit to them. There were periods in the game when Yeovil more than matched Everton as well. Was it just those moments of Premier League quality in the final third almost, which was the downfall for Yeovil today? Um, I, yeah, I think you know they, they were clinical today. We had good spells, to be honest with you, where, where we didn't look out of place, which is promising. But again, you know, we uh, it was just that final third. We couldn't really create anything. We were struggling that yeah in the final third to create something. Uh, maybe it was the killer pass, the killer ball. Yeah, but yeah. Call that what you will, but as I say, credit to them, they, they were the better team in the end. Despite the result though, when you go up against the likes of Yannick Velassi, Lukaku, Ross Barkley and you can contain those players for periods of time, you must take that as a positive going forward into the league as well. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just men, you know what I mean, they're just players, they're exactly the same as us. Um, it just makes you think about your own game, you know, what you need to develop in your own game and learn from it. That's all you can do, you know. <coughs> We don't lose today, we either win or we learn and that's it. And we've learned we've learned the hard way today, but it's, it's a learning curve, I say it's, it's disappointing. Nine hundred and three Yeovil fans came up for the game as well and were vocal throughout the match and yeah. spent a long period of time with them after the game as well. Yeah. Just how much did you notice their support out? You know what? It was like they were playing on my shoe. Uh, fair play to them, it was pandemonium all game. Uh, I say credit to them coming all the way down here. I know what it's like making that journey myself. Uh, it's not nice, so you know, credit to the supporters, I thought they were fantastic for the whole game, even even when we went down, they um, didn't stop making noise and you know what, it really does help and it's really uplifting for the team and you really just spare your own.